Hello, and welcome to another edition of Golf Soup. As always, I'm your host, James Leith. We've traveled to Hickson, Tennessee this week to film Creeks Bend. It is a great honor to be up here. Uh, kind of going home for me. Uh, played a lot of junior tournaments here when I was a, a kid. Uh, Mike Nelms, the head pro up here, I've known him since I was just a little bitty tight. Uh, have a lot of good friends and, and even one of our great sponsors at Golf Soup, Stan Cannon, a member up here. He, uh, of course, of Cannon's Rack and Axle. Uh, we're very happy to be here, but we're very happy to be here for another reason, too. The guys are letting us come out and film their front nine, which they have just redone their front nine greens and switched them from bent grass to mini verde Bermuda grass. Um, you guys are really going to enjoy this. You're going to be very impressed, as I was, uh, after seeing the greens out here. Uh, just have done a great job. The, I, I don't want to say the climate changed because I don't believe the climate is changing. I think we're just going through a cycle, but it's definitely getting warmer on us right now at this particular moment in time. So the, the line for Bermuda and bent grass is kind of getting skewed a little bit and moving a little further south for uh, Bermuda. And of course, bent grass is moving a little further north. So Bermuda greens becoming, or excuse me, bent grass greens becoming a nightmare to uh, maintain in the temperatures that we've been having in our summers around right here. So they've made the decision to go to Mini Verda on the front. They will change the back over next year. Uh, and I, I am thoroughly, thoroughly impressed uh, with the greens out here. Uh, you, you will get to see that in, in just a moment. A couple other things I want to mention real quick. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, Creeks Bend is also going through a membership drive uh, right now, trying to get more members in. I want all of you guys to see these great greens. Uh, give them a call, ask them about the, uh, the membership rates. Here's the number right here to Creeks Bend. Call Mike Nelms. Mike, a, uh, a wonderful man, a wonderful teacher too. Uh, Mike also gives lessons up here and has been doing it for years. Mike is a mainstay uh, of golf here in Chattanooga. Great, great teacher and I will not say that lightly. I think there's only probably two or three really, really good teachers in town and Mike is certainly on uh, the top of that list. Uh, the man knew how to golf his ball in his day and certainly knows a lot more about the golf game than, uh, than I'll ever know or a lot more than I know at this particular moment in time anyway. So uh, anyway, without further delay, we're going to get out there to the front nine here at Creeks Bend Golf Club and uh, enjoy these new beautiful mini verde, mini verde Bermuda grass greens. Here we go. First hole here at Creeks Bend Golf Club, a 535-yard par five. Good hole to start on. We're playing it from the blues today, so we're basically all the way back. Um, not that familiar with Creeks Bend, so I don't want to say I'm not optimistic about the round, but I'll, there'll be a little learning curve for me out here. I've not logged that many rounds out here. I do know this hole, there's trouble right, and there's a pond up there, so I'm going to try to hit a cut up the left side back into the fairway. That is a pull. I did not cut it. Hit it left toward the trees. No real trouble, I don't think. However, not a good start for golf soup here on the first hole, but we'll get better. Not a good drive for golf soup off the first hole here. I've come to rest in this little hazard here. Not much to it, just a little damp. Nothing too bad. We've got about 240 to the flag. I've got three iron in my hand. It's right at that right bunker, Coop. Hit pretty well, but won't get there, I don't believe. Call it just a touch off center, right back in play. We're in good shape right between the bunkers, but uh, not on the green. Next shot goes on to the brand new greens here at Creeks Bend. We came up about 20 yards short of the green here on the first hole, this par five. Um, I knew my three iron couldn't get there, particularly with that distance and up the hill, but the smart play was to leave it short and avoid the bunkers. Although the lice pretty tight here, they've got the area shaved real good, good Bermuda, but just tight lies that I'm not that favorable of. I'd rather be in a bunker. 
Let's see how these brand new greens react. Hit it just like I wanted it. Oh, that reacted beautifully. That was sweet. Hit soft, checked up. A very good chip there. I mentioned uh, having that tight lie there that was shaved down. We got through hitting that shot and we found the cup. They had put temporaries in as they grew in their, their new greens out here, so that's why that was the tight lie. But I was proud of myself for making crisp contact with it. Left me with a six footer for birdie. Let's see what we can do. Nope. That was a tentative effort. I read it about a ball out and knew it was more than that and was afraid to let it get away from me. Rolled good, but how a poor start here for Golf Soup on a poor putt. Greens look fantastic. And for me, it's kind of going home because I've always dealt with Bermuda greens. At my first golf course I built, I had champion Bermuda. Although I did have uh, three greens that were mini verde, the same as this grass out here. They're very comparable. I really couldn't tell a, a whole lot of difference except in the, the way that the, the greens actually greened up. Uh, greens look great out here. Very proud of the guys uh, for what they've done and they did it in a very short amount of time too. Great job, gentlemen. Hole number two here at Creekspin Golf Club, a 423 yard par four. I played a lot here as a, as a junior. Uh, they held the junior PGA championship here every year. Um, so, and back then we played the, depending on your age group, the, the uh, yellow or the, um, the white tees. I've never played the course from the, from the blue tees. This is the first time and boy, this is a culture shock for me. I've never even seen this tee box here. Uh, we've got to go over a row of trees to get it back to the fairway. We've got that same hazard that I hit it in on the first hole that'll come into play if I hit it left. Right is death do you part. Um, boy, gonna take a good drive here. Let's just suck it up and hit one. That's a good ball, Cooper. Should be right in the middle of the fairway. Couldn't ask for anything better. Well, maybe a little longer. I didn't just smoke it, but uh, kept good control of it, got it in the fairway so that we can have a manageable second shot. All right, not exactly in the middle of the fairway. It got to the right a little bit and just a few steps out of the fairway in the rough. Got about 130 left for our second shot here. Um, that's really, really on the outside uh, edges of my sand wedge, but because I'm in the rough, I'm thinking I might get just a slight flyer to give me that extra yardage. So we're gonna hit a full all out sand wedge here and hope for just a touch of a flyer. It's just right of the pin coop, gonna be short though. Get up. Bounce up. Didn't quite make it. Didn't get the flyer I wanted out of it. But we're only a few paces off the green. We've got an opportunity to get it up and down for par here. Just a few feet off the green, maybe six feet off the green. I've got a pitching wedge in my hand, intending to pitch and run it. But the grain of the Bermuda is going right back at me, so it's catching my club in my practice swings. I'll have to catch this one. Very crisp to pull this one off. Too crisp. Too worried about the grass. Terrible golf shot there. Not a very good pitch shot at all. Would have been much better off to have put that one. But I didn't, so Let's see if we can make this one coming back. Should break slightly to my right. Got away with one there. Glad to have that par. Greens are rolling great out here. Again, they just did these greens uh, in early July. So in six weeks, they tore them out, planted them, and got them grown back. Here it is just 
Well, it's September the 11th, a historic day. So in two months, you've got greens that are rolling extremely well. They've done a great job out here. Uh, Creek's Bend love this facility. Hole number three here at Creek's Bend Golf Club, 398 yard par four. This is a pretty narrow driving hole here and it chokes down even more as you get closer to the green. The trees kind of come in and uh, to give you just a little pass you can go through. Being 398, maybe not a driver hole because it is so tight. However, I seem to have as good a control over my driver as I do any other club in my bag. So I'm going to hit the driver and try to keep it between the trees. That is not between the trees, Coop. That's over on the left side. Oh, it hit trees. I just heard cart path. Oh, the adventures of golf soup are on on this hole. Really poor tee shot for us off the third hole here. We're tree hooked here in the left. Um, I can go under the tree. Cooper might pan up there for you and let you see. Really my only option is to go under the tree. I uh, had thought about hooking it around it and getting a little height on it, but that's just too big of a hook. I am still, however, going to try to hit a low hook, start it to the right of the pin, go under the tree. The hook gives you a little better top spin, a little more spin to help it get through the heavy Bermuda it'll have to get through to get up to the green. About 170 yards out and I've got a low hook five iron in my hand. Hook some more, baby. Hook a lot more. Good news is I can still see the ball. It's going right to the cart path now. All right, third shot or second shot came to rest on the cart path. I've taken relief straight back, taken my drop and not got a very good lie at all. Bermuda a little thin under the trees here, so. This is a testy little shot. My hope is just to get a decent look at par. Oh, I missed it left. Good distance, just kind of dropped the club into it and turned my body and missed the whole shot to the left. <coughs> Got an 18 footer for par now. A very long par putt here. All I can do is pick my line and make a good putt at it. If it goes in, great. If not, take your medicine. I actually pulled that putt about that much. Had I hit my proper line, we'd have made it. My stroke is not good. Confidence is waning in my golf game right now, to be perfectly honest with you. Fourth hole here at Creek's Bend Golf Club, a par three. We're at the blue tees, but they're a little up. I figure it's gonna play about 154 today. Um, one thing I do wanna mention, um, we're filming here on September the 11th. This is a Sunday, just six days after the torrential rainfall we had from Lee blowing through our town. And the uh, golf course is very dry and in, in good shape. A lot of the courses that sit along Chickamauga Creek sometimes uh, uh, take a while to get back up and running, but, but uh, Creek's Bend here has done very well. Very glad to get out and play. We were supposed to film Tuesday, but obviously that got put out. I've got a nine iron here. Make a good swing. I'm going right at the flag, Cooper. Great looking golf shot. Be the right club. Too much. I tried to tell Cooper it was pitching wedge. He made me hit the nine. Just kidding. We agreed on it. Good shot, just a little bit long. Finally made a good solid golf swing though. take that all day long. Very good putt there. Not one that I ever really thought about making. Just tried to make a good putt, good speed, 
get par, and move on. Good deal. Par on the fourth hole here at Creek's Bend. Uh, hole number five here at Creek's Bend. We've been having a good laugh off camera there. Um, 412 yards. Cooper keeps us entertained around here, as y'all sometimes get to see. Uh, 412 yard par four. Again, playing the blue tees is a new experience for me. A tight driving hole becomes even tighter when you come back here. Um, you've got the creek to the right, trees to the left. You want to bail out, you want to bail out left, but I'm not going to try to bail out anyway. I'm going to try to hit it right up the gut. No draw, no fade, just dead straight. All right, another lefty into the trees. I have no idea. I can tell you this, the only part of my game I've had confidence in recently is my driver and now it seems to be going away. Wow, struggling here. I need help, I need to go see Mike Nelms in a terrible position, hit the trees not far from the tee box and have come straight down. I'm so far out, I don't think I can reach the green. I'm just a little frustrated, so I've pulled four wood, and I'm gonna hit it hard and see what happens. That's just right into another clump of trees, Coop. All right, now I've compounded my mistake. Oops. A very bad drive, very bad second shot. We're still in a clump of trees, got to punch out. Show seven iron. I got a block wall there, block culvert wall that I've got to miss, but I got a little bit of a ramp there. If I can run this seven iron up that ramp between the blocks and the trees, maybe we can pull this off. Oh, that was so close to being great. I hit it right between the blocks and the trees, just took a hard right and didn't quite get up on the green. Uh, but we're at least back in play. I've got the opportunity to make a bogey here. It's never good to hit your fourth shot on a par four with your wedge, but that's what we're doing here. Got to keep my head in the game, just try to make my bogey and move on. That's too hard. Oh, they're so slick. Rolling well, just too well for me and what I'm used to it. Lupton City, so got a long putt for bogey. That's a good putt. That's a bogey. I feel very fortunate to get out of here because I hit it all over the Creation and Creeks Bend Golf Club on this this particular hole, but we got out of here with a bogey. You got to sometimes just, just take the mental attitude of, you know, as hard as that bogey was to make, it's the same score as if I missed a three foot par putt. So trying to stay positive, but uh, like I say, confidence just waning a little bit on me. Nothing to do with the golf course though, because the course is in great shape. It's my game that's not. All right, sixth hole here at Creek's Bend Golf Club, a par three. 180 yards in length. Can't see it from here because we're so far back, but there's a pond in front of this green. Beautiful little pond. It's uh, surrounded with some nice river rocks. Just a beautiful little hole. From the white tees, you can see it up there. From back here, it's a monster of a golf hole. Although it's only 180, there's not much room to hit up there. It takes a precise golf shot just to be dry. Even more precise to get a putt at birdie. Got six iron in my hand. It's out to the right, trying to draw in, but it's not going to, Coop. I said I like where I left myself a little further, a little bit past pin high, and in the deep stuff here, so I'm gonna take a pretty good golf shot to get up and down here. Whoa, dog. It's not bad. Not bad at all. Very good pitch shot. We've got about three feet left here. 
There are no gimmies right now with my putting stroke though. Got it though. Good deal. Good par there. Greens, well as you've seen, I haven't hit many of them, but I made many putts because they're rolling so true. They're in great shape. Uh, I am truly impressed with how the greens are rolling and the amount of time since they were just planted. So uh, done a great job here at Creeks Bend. Seventh hole here at Creeks Bend Golf Club, a 422 yard par four. Again, straight away littered with trees on either side. The driver is at a premium at this golf course and my driver has just been selling for bottom dollar today. But one swing sometimes can turn it all around. Let's see if we can make that one swing here. Nope, left again, Coop. Listen for more trees. I'm sure it hit trees down there. At least I advanced it a little further than I have the last couple of times. So once again, our back's against the wall here at Creek's Bend, swinging the driver bad, 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 bad. Welcome back to this edition of How to Hit a Punch Shot. That's all I've hit out of the fairways today. Uh, once again, I'm in the trees, under the trees, and having to punch under and around the trees. I've got uh, got about 100 yards left of this green. I've got an eight iron I'm gonna try to hit low and running. In fact, I'm not even trying to play with the pin this time. I just wanna hit it on the center of the green and get a putt. It's going right at the center of the green, Coop. That's a little hard. It was on the center, and now it's off the back. Wow. I just got that up a little too much. I intended to land it in front of the green. I landed it on the green. Let's see if we can get another one up and down. This, by far, the toughest up and down I've had so far today. I've got very little green to work with and coming out of some thick rough. And the ball is sitting way down in this stuff. And I'm still in the thick rough. Yay. Really decelerated on that one, didn't trust my, my swing. And this is what I get. Gotta hit a good pitch. And I didn't. This is not good. But it's another good, oh it stopped breaking, wow. I thought I'd made another one. All right, we knew we wouldn't get through this day without a double bogey. Oh man, I'm so disappointed in myself. I came to play Creeks Bend because of the new greens. And of course I've made a lot of putts on them. You guys see how good they're rolling, but those putts are for long putts for bogeys and pars. And of course missed the bogey putt there. Um, just a bad day for me. I'm so embarrassed. Spin Golf Club, a 402 yard par four. Maybe a slight dog leg to the right. You can hit a little fade here. Again, between the trees. Accuracy is at, is at a premium and uh, I just don't seem to have it today. I feel terrible for the folks here at Creeks Bend because I am butchering my score here. It may look like it's a, a tough course, but the course is not that tough. It's usually there for the taking. I just, I'm struggling terribly with my golf swing right now. I'm struggling terribly with my confidence right now is what I'm struggling with. This will be my last driver of the day. Let's see if we can get one decent here. Cut just a little, that's between the trees anyway. Yay! Might not be in the fairway, might be in the rough, but it's between the trees. Didn't come down. I don't have a 200 yard, yard punch shot to go. I finally hit a fairway here at Creeks Bend. Good swing here on the eighth hole. We've got right at 100 yards, maybe 99 yards left to, to the center of this green. Let's see if we can do some scoring while well, I've got this rare opportunity.
just left of the flag coop. It needs to get up just a fudge. Oh yeah. That one hit, checked up well. We've got about 12 foot for birdie. Man, certainly haven't had many of those today. Putted the ball good though. Maybe I can make a birdie before we get out of here. And it's going just a fudge right though. Oh, tap in for par. But still birdieless here. Our ninth and final hole of the day, 152 yard par three, lake in front of it, or pond in front of it, I should say. This is a narrow green. Got somewhat of a backstop uh, behind the green. I've made a few good swings with the irons when I've had open shots. Let's see if I can continue the good swings there. Coming right back at the flag, Cooper, maybe a little left of it when it hits. Not bad. I think the pin's on the back and that's on the front. Not a close putt, but I believe I can two putt it and get out of here under 40 anyway. Long birdie attempt here, but I'm not ruling, ruling a make out here. Just gotta turn left. Ooh, I misread that completely. That went right when it got up through there. You got it. Greens are rolling just so true. All right, guys, going to wrap the show up uh, as quickly as I can. Um, I hit it too many times out there today, so we're running short on time. Before we go, though, I do want to thank Creeks Bend for having us out. We are extremely impressed with the mini verti greens that they've put in on the front side here. These Bermuda greens are, are just brand spanking new and in great shape and will only get better. And don't forget Creek Spin, the number's right here, having a membership drive right now. Uh, they've got everything you need in a golf course or country club. Uh, they've got the pro shop, they've got the grill, they've got a great practice facility, huge putting green, the driving range. Mike Nelms, the pro up here, one of the finest teachers in this town. I promise you, if you get a lesson from him, you will not be disappointed. Nor will you be disappointed in this golf course if you come play it. Uh, next year, they'll redo the greens on the back. Uh, we look forward to coming, coming back and getting those. We look forward to coming back here anytime. Uh, uh, Creek's been just a, a, a great facility, a mainstay here in Chattanooga, and we appreciate them so very much uh, for having us out. Uh, Going to have to get out of here for Jeff Cooper, Brad Allen, for everybody here at Golf Soup. I'm James Leith, and until next week, we'll see you on the course.